What will you do after high school? Become a scientist? Accountant? Musician? Mechanic? Chef? The future is all yours, but you need to think about where you want to go and what you want to do. The Statistics in Schools program offers resources that can help you plan for life after graduation. I'm going to continue my education after high school, but I'm not sure where yet. Since I was a kid, I've helped my dad in the garage, and I've always loved learning how things work and how to fix them. So I'm thinking about learning how to become a mechanic. Maybe I'll start by working seriously at my dad's shop, then go to a trade school or go to a four-year college to get an engineering degree. I need to find things out like how much I can expect to earn as a mechanic or engineer. And if I go to trade school, will I earn less money than if I got a college degree? I'm not sure what I want to do. I either want to live close to home or experience living in a different city. The rent can't be too high though, and I'd rather not spend a lot of time sitting in traffic on my way to work. I want to make sure I'm living with people from different backgrounds that are around my age. Oh, and I want to be near a lot of Italian restaurants. I'm going to start my own business. I need to start it in an area with a lot of parents with little kids. So I'm thinking my target market will be in their 20s and 30s and have a high level of smartphone use. I'm finding answers at census.gov. The US Census Bureau website has a lot of statistics that can help me make decisions about my job and education after high school. This is where you come in. The Census Bureau can't get this data unless people respond when it asks questions. The responses also drive decisions about more than $675 billion in federal funds that support things that we need every day, like schools, hospitals, housing, and roads in your community. The 2020 census is the count of everyone who lives in the U.S. and its territories. It begins in spring of 2020. So identify someone in your home who can respond for everyone. Make sure the person responding for your home counts every person who lives there, even newborn babies and people unrelated to you. This will make sure your community gets the resources it needs. When it's time to respond in spring of 2020, the adults in your home can complete the census online, by phone, or by mail. Also, make sure to circle April 1st, 2020 on your calendar. That's Census Day, a timely reminder to respond to the 2020 census. Don't wait. Get counted. You can use census data to make decisions to shape your future. Start by visiting census.gov schools.